Hello, my name is Tim Dooley, and welcome to Good Morning Evangel. This week, human spider Alan Robert has been banned from climbing any building in the UK after illegally scaling one of London's tallest towers with no safety gears. The 56-year-old grandfather was arrested for after Heron Tower, also known as the Salesforce Tower, in a stunt which saw police close the surrounding roads as soon as they were alerted to the drama. He reached the top in around 45 minutes to cheers from the crowd which had formed below, and immediately was handed, o handed over wanting police his passport and the number of his lawyers, who have previously scaled the building, included uh, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai and the Empire State Building in New York. He pleaded guilty to causing a number of public nuisances during the hearing at, of London Magistrates Court. Alan Roberts scaled Heron Tower near Liverpool, Liverpool Street. He was sentenced to 20 weeks imprisonment, suspended for two years, and ordered to pay 5,500 pounds compensation to the City of London Police and banned from climbing the outside of any building in the UK. Chairman of the bench, Edward McMullen, said you are demonstrably an accomplished climber, but there is always a danger that your actions could be imitated by those less proficient with potentially fatal consequences. Police, fire, and ambulance crews attended the scene at around 1.40 p.m. on Thursday. The cost of this dis uh, disruption to the building's owner totaled thousands of pounds, and the stunt also put a burden on the emergency services, he told the court. Police were concerned about the climber's safety and if he fell off the building, whether or not he could fall on the persons below. Adia Khan, defending Robert, said he had no intention or foresight of this disruption that he could cause. In recent news, a bizarre iceberg has been spotted by NASA scientists in the shape of a near-perfect rectangle. The oddly satisfying phenomenon was discovered near the Laren Sea ice shelf in the Antarctic Peninsula. A photo shows a thick block of ice up to a mile long dramatically protruding from the sea of a thin frozen water. Thought to have recently splintered off, scientists took a snap from a plane used to monitor changing land and sea ice in the South Pole. Many have remarked about this particular shape, with some suggest suggesting the work of Photoshop or aliens. But NASA ice scientist Kelly Brunt explained the process that caused this is fairly common. There are two types of icebergs, she said. The most familiar are those that look like prisms, such as the one that sank the Titanic. The second are called tubular iceberg, Ms. Brunt said, comparing their formation to a fingernail growing too long and breaking off at the end. What makes this one a bit unusual is that it looks almost like a square, she told um, Life Science website. The size was hard, was hard to guess, but Ms. Brunt said it could be more than a mile long. Plastic straws have been viewed lately as pieces of plastic that are slowly ruining the environment. However, plastic straws are detrimental to our health of our planet, but a recent study has revealed that a different piece of trash deserves much more to, of our attention, the cigarette bud. NBC News, the study that revealed um, cigarette buds are the single greatest source of ocean trash. These buds contain filters which on the surface seem completely harmless, but in all actuality are causing permanent damage to our oceans and wildlife. While more than a dozen cities have prohibited plastic straws this year, and many other are considering to join them, cigarette buds haven't faced nearly as much backlash. These plastic filters were introduced in cigarettes as a way to possibly make them healthier. But research has recently shown that filters do very little into, to protect the smoker from deadly carcinogens. Let's move into the weather forecast for today. Current conditions are sunshine with 50 degrees and a dew point of 35 degrees. Southbound winds at 7 miles per hour and visibility is 10 miles. Today's current conditions will be in the morning some rain and at night it will be quite cloudy. It is, will be a total of or a high of 55 degrees with southbound winds at 7 miles per hour and precipitation at 80%. Tonight will be clear with a low of 34 degrees and winds going 5 miles an hour north. Today's six day forecast will be Friday will be cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 45 degrees. Then it will be sunny with a high of 64 and a low of 46 degrees. Sunday will be cloudy with a high of 59 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. Monday will be partly sunny with a high of 55 degrees and a low of 38 degrees. We'll move into Tuesday as it will be partly sunny and a high of 59 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Wednesday will be cloudy with a high of 60 and a low of 46 degrees. 
Thank you for joining me today on Good Morning Evangel. After the break, we'll be demonstrating the do's and don'ts of hoverboards and how to properly operate them. You can't keep true faith inside a church. You can't confine it to a few hours, days, or weeks. You can't share it with some people and hide it from others. You can't leave it on the side of the road to come back for it when you think you will need it later. True faith will shine through in everything you do, wherever you are, and everything you do will improve because of it, because everything we do grows out of it. Evangel University. We all have a need to experience life with others, to not be just another face in the crowd, but to have a small community we can call family. We need to receive individual guidance from the wise and be sharpened by those we live with from day to day. We treasure the traditions of those who have gone before us and form lasting friendships with those who cross our path, knowing that the skills, the memories, and the relationships we formed will journey with us no matter where we go. Evangel University. Welcome back to Good Morning Evangel. My name is Tim Dooley, and today I'll be demonstrating the do's and don'ts of hoverboards and how to ride them safely. Here with me today, I have the Spadger SG-1000, or as I like to call her, Charles. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate now how to get on a hoverboard. Um, to start, you start from the back. You'll put your left foot on the left pedal and the right foot on the right pedal. You'll then balance yourself using your hips and you can turn by uh, tilting your heels left and right. There are many different kinds of hoverboards out there on the market, but uh, this one I got for around $200. It was uh, from Amazon and uh, I've been having, riding it around for about uh, a year now and I'm, I'm pretty good at it. It's not too hard to learn or master um, once you can get down the basics. Now to get off, you must get off from the back. If you get off from the front, it'll ride forward like that. So step back, left, right, and it'll stop for you. Now, uh, there are many different attachments you can put on your hoverboard. I have with me here the uh, go-to wheels, uh, go-kart attachment. Um, you move it in front of the hoverboard and you place it on the pedals. And by using these straps, you can uh, insert them below. If I can do it real quick and you Velcro them on through the back. This attachment was around $75, and I have to say it was completely worth it. You can race your friends who also have this, or you can race the nearest grandmother in a uh, wheelchair down the street. That's always fun. So insert that through, strap it there. Now you wanna hold on to this, otherwise it starts going. So you hold on here, and you have a seat. You can place your feet down on these pedals, or you can do what I like to do and just lean back, ride around, turn, do all that kind of stuff. Hoverboard maxes out at about 11 miles per hour. You can uh, safely go nine miles per hour. Going anything over 11 will result in the hoverboard flipping or falling over, so don't go faster than that. Um, there are many people that I know who also have different brands of hoverboards. Spadger is one of my favorite because they've been a trusted brand from the beginning. Their hoverboards don't explode like uh, all other kinds of hoverboards. Their batteries are safe. I've operated on this one personally to fix it. Um, don't go down the stairs with these. They're not, uh, not stairway operatable uh, right now. But um, Many other people uh, tend to use the, the stick attachment that you can hold on to like a Segway. Um, I personally don't like that. It kind of feels awkward and uncomfortable. So I just ride it around using my hips, legs, all those other things. Um, you can take the go-kart attachment off simply by lifting the um, Velcro latches right there, and then you can return it on. There are many different ways to calibrate hoverboards, but um, normally the, the settings will stay the same depending on the climate that you live in. Um, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining me on Good Morning Evangel. My name is Tim Dooley, and have a great day.